good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel today is friday january 13th i haven't vlogged in about a week because school started back i had work we had to we had an exam yesterday so it was just a busy week but i'm glad to be vlogging in today i don't have any school today i'm just going to be studying cleaning up around the house and just staying at home no plans so um, if you're new here, welcome. I make nursing and lifestyle content and I hope you enjoy my channel and without further ado, let's get into today's video and spend the day together. I am sitting on the couch finishing my coffee and I'm gonna go brush my teeth, wash my face, all of that and get ready to study. I'm gonna study all day. Um, because I just need to get ahead. I work this weekend, but we, we have today and Monday off, so I'm gonna treat that like the weekends that I never get because of work. Um, I have my overnight oats right here, ready to eat, but I'm not very hungry right now, so I'm gonna wait to eat on that. But um, yeah, so after I made my coffee, I've just been kind of chilling here. Um, Malik went to work and all that. I took Cholo out. Yeah, just chilling for a second, but it's now 10.15, so I need to get started or my day is going to get away from me and I need to make the most of it. So, let's get into studying. Um, it's going to be a good day, you guys. It's going to be a good day. Okay, so I've gotten through one of our lecture videos. It was about 40 minutes long. I took notes over the entire thing. I feel really good about the topic, so I'm taking a break to wash my face. Um, I'm one of those people, like, it's now 11.20, and, like, if I wake up early, sometimes if I don't do it right away, I, like, push it off. So I'm putting these on because I have long sleeves on. I'm just going to wash my face all the good stuff. I'm gonna brush my teeth again because I drank coffee. Um, and you know how coffee makes your breath stank. So I'm gonna do that and then probably get back to watching the videos. I have one more to watch for this respiration topic. Respiration. Respiratory topic and then I'm gonna move on to endocrine. So I'll be back. I'm back wash my face all of that um, so what I've been doing for like the past hour is I was watching the lecture videos that she posted so yesterday I didn't watch the lecture videos I just did the patho sheets which y'all have seen if y'all have been on my channel for a while but if you're new here I will show y'all um, so I put out these patho sheets they this is like a blank one I got the template off of like Etsy for like a couple bucks and I just downloaded it and so then I fill it out about every disease. It has the name, the pathophysiology, risk factors, signs and symptoms, complications, labs and diagnostics, the nursing interventions, and then the patient teaching. So I kind of fill that out for everything and kind of get a good little brief synopsis on all of the diseases. And then I do that while going through the book. So the book, let me just show y'all. Our book is set up to where it starts at, hold on, let me get there. Okay, so it starts at 
like that says laryngeal cancer and that's what I'm going over and so it goes from um, epidemiology pathophysiology signs and symptoms diagnosis um, these are like the diagnostic tests that they can do and then it literally does like uh, surgical management and then this side is going to be like the nursing actions interventions what we as nurses need to know and so that part of the book is really important so just kind of showing y'all how this book is set up it's pretty straightforward so then after I fill out those patho sheets today I'm watching the lecture videos that our professor posted and she goes straight from the book so I kind of like repeatedly um, wrote everything out again but in like note-taking form so I wrote like pathophysiology, risk factors, uh, nursing assessment, all of that. And I made each thing color coordinated and all of that. Um, and just like to be repetitive because I've learned the more I write things down, look at things, all of that, the more that I retain it and understand it. So that's kind of my process that I'm going to do for this chapter and this exam. Um, I kind of switch it up every time with like different things but yeah so just kind of showing you how I study how I prepare and how I do well in nursing school um so yeah now I'm going to get back to doing that keep going and I will pop back in in a little bit my next video is like an hour so it'll be a little bit and then it'll probably be time for me to eat something because I haven't eaten today I'm thinking I want Chipotle so I'll probably just cave and get it because I deserve it <laughs> but anyways I'll pop back in um, I'm gonna get to studying and I'll talk to y'all in a little bit I got my little dude laying next to me Choach hi buddy what are you doing so yeah I'm just about to start studying I got a blank fresh paper and I'm gonna turn to the chapter that she's about to go over which is COPD and I will see y'all when it's done. Uh, I just got done with that video, done with all my notes for lung cancer, laryngeal cancer, and COPD. Um, I just ordered my Chipotle. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. So I'm going to go pick that up, eat, because I'm starving. It is now 1240, by the way. Um, good productive morning. I've only been at it like two and a half hours, and I feel like I've gotten a lot done. So after I eat, I'm going to start endocrine system, knock those out, and then after I'm done with all the endocrine stuff, I'm going to kind of go over it all tonight, and that's all I can do for right now because that's the only two sections open. We do have hematology for this exam as well, but it's not opened yet because it's not for this week, so they haven't posted them. So anyways, that's the plan. Let's go get my Chipotle and let's eat. All ready to go and I got a little passenger with me a little little dude stand up and say hi <laughs> he's so little y'all can't see him but he's in the passenger ah! <laughs> okay okay you're okay <laughs> anyways he's in the pa <laughs> okay we're gonna put him down He's in the passenger seat. Um, we're not gonna touch him again because he's feeling a little spazzy today, apparently. But I am headed to go get my Chipotle. I'm very excited. <sighs> Love me some Chipotle. I was craving it. Sorry for the really bad glare. Hopefully that goes away. Anyways, I was craving it and I just decided to get it because we don't really have anything at the house at the moment that's like easily preparable. I don't even know if that's a word, but we have nothing that like I can just throw together quickly. Like I'd have to like bake some chicken and all this jazz and I don't, mm, don't hit me. And I don't feel like doing that. So we're gonna go with the healthier fast food option, which I've been loving Chipotle lately. Like it, and I got a coupon. For some reason I got like $2 off my order. So that's always a plus. So let's go get this Chipotle and then I will talk to y'all after I pick it up. is secured 
but oh my god that chipotle is busy like busy busy i'm surprised they had my order ready that quickly because it is packed in there i forget that we are we're in like i, I live in the oh, do not hit me I live in the medical center, so everyone's like on their lunch break right now, I guess. And they're eating here. So, super busy, but luckily I don't live very far and my order was already ready, so I can just whip on out of here. Oh my dear God, please do not be turning. This I just hate living in this area. I can't wait till I'm out of this area because it's very, very crowded. And there's always construction happening and a lot of a lot of that fun stuff i can't believe we'll, i can't believe people leave the hospital to go eat lunch across the street it's crazy this person just got discharged they're being pushed in a wheelchair i've never seen it this active now some people walking their dogs anyways i will talk to you when i get home all right i'm back home with my chipotle i Oh my god, the bowl's like opening up. I got a burrito bowl with guacamole, white rice, fajitas, black beans, chicken, corn, salsa, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. I will show y'all the container so y'all can, if y'all want this order, y'all can get it. Yum, screenshot that, it's bomb. So I'm going to put on a YouTube video because none of my shows are on right now. I'm gonna put on a YouTube video and eat this. Like, look at this, you guys. <laughs> Yum. But like I said, I was, I'm gonna put on a YouTube video because none of my shows are back on right now and watch that eat this and then i'll get back to studying after i'm done i cannot wait to dig in i am so excited it's gonna be good come on. oh oh we got a, we got a guest we we got oh yeah oh he wants the food <laughs> Alrighty, i'll talk to you in a little bit Okay, I have eaten and I watched an episode of Jenny and Georgia. Oh my God, I'm looking rough. My skin is like not, not happy with me right now. I need to find a better skincare routine. Apparently my forehead looks angry. Anyways, I watched an episode of Jenny and Georgia. It's around 2.20 now. Um, so took a little, little bit of a break, like two hours. Didn't mean to take that long, but the Ginny and Georgia episode was like an hour long. So that's why. Um, but anyways, back to studying I go. Um, I have finished all of the respiratory stuff. So now I'm going to move along to endocrine and see what that's all about. And... Hopefully there's not super long lectures because I don't feel like, I don't feel like watching all of them, but it is what it is. Let's get into it and I will pop back in after I need a little break from studying. guys it is now 4 p.m. I have gotten through one and a half videos out of three um not too bad the only thing with endocrine is there's a lot more um diseases than there was with the respiratory lecture so it's taking me a little longer to get through them even though the videos are shorter there's just a lot more diseases so for this one we have Addison's disease, Cushing's disease, pheochromocytoma disease, Graves' disease, hypothyroidism, and then thyroid cancer. So it's like seven 
I think that was seven that I just said. So seven diseases that I'm gonna have to make these sheets over. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And then, um, that's about it. And then after I get done with all of that, I think I'm gonna try to clean the house a little. Like vacuum and clean the kitchen, clean the bathroom, stuff like that. And then I have work this weekend. So just gonna kinda finish this up hopefully be done before 6 6 30 um that's like two hours away i think i can do it and then have the evening to clean relax eat dinner and then wake up in the morning and go to work so i'm gonna get this done and then i will talk to y'all when i'm done with all these notes okay you guys what's up i just got done taking my notes it is 6 20 p.m I am so tired. I've been like doing this on and off since 10 a.m. And y'all have been with me this whole time. Y'all know that I've been, oh, I'm so tired. But I just got done. I wrote all of these notes today. All of them. All of these. Like, you guys, my hand is tired. It's still going. You think it's done? It's still going. That's the last of it. But that's a lot. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I am done. I am gonna... I think I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick before Malik gets home. Um, and then we're gonna eat dinner and relax. Sorry, my dog won't shut up. Um, I'm gonna eat and relax. So, I'll pop in after I shower and everything, but I'm just gonna wind down and relax. I'm done for the night. Um, I've done a lot today and I'm simply done. <laughs> lighting a candle, pouring a glass of wine, and getting in a bath after a long day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will talk to y'all after I relax. All right, you guys, so I am out of the shower now and I'm about to edit a little bit and wait for Malik to get here. I'll probably wrap up this vlog. <laughs> 